while we're talking about <laughs> new Apple OS features, do you want to take us to Todd, Pete? Uh, I can do that. Todd wrote in uh, and sent us a couple Wall Street Journal articles, um, and they are behind the paywall, unfortunately. But uh, he sent us the PDFs if we needed to look at them. But it says basically, hey, just saw this. Turn on your iPhone stolen device protection now to secure your money and your photos in the iOS 17.3 update. And uh, we'll put the link in the show notes as to what the stolen device protection is. I had forgotten that that was coming along, but it essentially, you go into settings and you can just even search stolen device and it'll come up with the setting. By turning it on, you prevent someone who has uh, misappropriated uh, your device in case you've colossally lost it. Reference there, inside joke, sorry. Uh, if And someone has your device and they know your passcode, they can't make critical changes to your account, particularly if it's away from a, a known location like your home or your place of work or someplace where you regularly are. Uh -huh. um, you, they need your face ID or your touch ID biometric authentication. So some acts, actions such as accessing stored passwords, credit cards uh, it require a single biometric authentication with face ID or touch ID with no passcode or alternative fallback. So only you can access those features. And there's a security delay as well. Uh, some security actions, such as changing your Apple ID password, require you to wait an hour and then perform uh -huh. a second face ID and touch ID authentication so that it can't just be changed right away, again, when it's away from home. This solves that problem that, that we were, uh, you know, kind of talking about a year ago or so, right? right. Where people yeah. were snatching phones and, and then, you know, stealing iCloud accounts yeah. and hacking into things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, huh. so it's designed to uh, prevent a thief from performing critical operations that, you know, gives you time to mark your device as lost. Right, And, and right. make sure your Apple account is secure. Um, so when it's on, Face ID is required for uh, passwords and pass keys. Uh, payment method saved in Safari. Uh, you can't turn off lost mode. Uh, you can't erase all content and settings. You can't apply for a new Apple card. <laughs> That's hmm. good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can't huh. view the Apple card virtual number. Uh, and we just do this in settings in the, uh, yeah. in, uh, yeah. on the phone. Nice. Yeah. Great. It won't stop them from gaining access to email and photos and other unprotected apps, third-party apps. So if you have a two-factor authentication on those apps, that's the way to go. But uh, stolen device protection, even more better security than before. Wow. Great stuff. Cool. Lasts With a long time. It doesn't impact using, and there's a couple things on this. One it's important to note that it only kicks in when your device is away from your common locations, like your work and right. Home. So this in, in the next cubicle over, home. probably far enough away. No, <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> um, but I mean, that's good. Cause that's convenient. You know, if you're at home, it's going to assume you have control of your device. So it's a little bit, it's got a little smarts in there, but um, was one of the things you can still like use like FaceTime or whatever. Cause my only concern on this was like, the number of times I'll be somewhere, just not FaceTime, uh, Apple Pay. I'll be wanting to use Apple Pay, and it just doesn't recognize my fa Face ID just uh -huh. fails for whatever yep, reason. Sure. You need to go to passcode, right? When this kicks in, right, you have to do biometric authentication. You can't. You don't. It doesn't fall back to the passcode option. No, it's 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 almost the op. It's it's it. It works in the opposite direction, right? Yeah, like you've already done the passcode, and because you have this feature enabled. It says, yeah, we should also make sure face ID that it's actually you, which is which is a shift right up until now. Face ID and touch ID have been convenience features, right? Like, yes. you know, you would unlock your phone and then you could use these to sort of casually unlock your phone. I'll, I'll call it, but not after a restart, not after all of that. Now, Face ID and Touch ID are actually being used as the second factor of security, which is it, which is interesting. Uh, you know, it's a yeah. it's a bit of a and, shift. Yeah. And I'll rem remind folks that you can also s put the setting on in there so that if you have an Apple Watch on that is unlocked and it doesn't recognize your Face ID right away, you've got as long as it's within range, it'll go. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's you just trying to unlock it. 